Around 20 days ago, Mr. Elliptic hosted a... No wait, scratch that. About two years ago, I had been working on a game that needed dialogues. Even back then, there were tools available to help me make the process a whole lot easier. So, just like the genius fella my granny claims me to be, I made the smart decision to create a dialogue creation slash managing plugin all by myself. The only issue was, I was still a beginner. I mean, I still am, but I was even more beginner. The result was a somewhat functioning Frankenstein monster with code that could make Yandere Dev's cheeks red. Being the good Samaritan I am, I thought of publishing the plugin and I was rejected. I failed to understand why back then, but a single look at the old project now would be enough to justify why it was unfit for professional use. Then back to prison, having forgotten about my abomination of a creation, I came across a video by Mr. Elliptic, a game jam, but for good add-ons? Well sign me up! This was a fresh new opportunity for me to remake the Aaron, but with all the wisdom I amassed with my last few projects. So, having recently finished my Breath of the Wild clone, and without anything else in my mind, I started work on the Aaron. The Aaron originally had a graph system where you could add nodes for defining and branching dialogues. My new plan was to recreate the same system but with a cleaner project structure and add to that a custom node to easily use those dialogues in game. To spare you from all the details, in just a few days I had a graph system with 3 graph nodes available, a start node to define the start of a dialogue tree, a comment node to store well comments, and the start of the show, the dialogue node, which took the most amount of time to code. By this point, I was almost at the same progress level as the old project, but this time I decided to have a file management system similar to the script editor in Godot. This took some brain cells, a major code refactor, and worshipping the devil. But I had a working file management system at the end. Finally, to complete the iron, I created a node for emitting signals within your dialogue, as well as a custom node to display dialogues in your game. I wanted to keep the process of using dialogues super simple, so all you have to do is add the custom node to your scene, select the JSON file exported through the dialogue editor, set up the theme if you want, and call the function from the code. As for the dialogue editor, the steps involve creating a new file, adding a start node, giving it an ID and adding a dialogue node and just going crazy from there. Oh, and you can even test out your dialogues within the editor. Hey, this is Naki from editing. I got kind of bored and ended up adding two new features to the plugin. So now you can add variables to your dialogue trees and use those variables in your dialogue. And there's a node to change their values as well as a node to check their values uh, so that you can have conditional dialogues. So yeah, with that, I finally finished probably my first ever proper Godot add-on with good code. Suck on that, 2020 Nagi. I submitted the plugin to the Jam as well as to the Godot asset library and started exploring the awesome submissions by other people. Gotta say, you people are mad talented. Heck, even Emilio, the father of Dialogic, hopped into the hype train and created a super annoying and super fun add-on. P.S. I love your add-on, but I just don't prefer the workflow. I'm more of a whoop whoop guy, you know. In conclusion, thanks to the Godot add-on Jam, I brought back a dead project back to life. Shinier than ever. Talking about resurrections, I'm currently working on getting another old project back on track. <coughs> the second time. <coughs> Bit of a side note, I plan on getting this video out sooner but unfortunately I broke the nail on my small toe. Just kidding, I got the virus. Nothing to worry though, I've almost recovered and will be my 100% very soon. So expect much better videos in the coming days and until then feel free to try out my add-on dialogue nodes in your own project and if you do, do let me know in the comments down below, I'd love to hear about it. Now the next time I see you guys make sure you drink your milk after you finish the cookie, granny puts a lot of love in them and for the love of whatever it is you love, stay safe. <laughs>